We was vibing or whatever, and then, you know, he was whispering them sweet nothings in my ear. Yeah, I want to see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back. Try to pay my dues, but niggas rather say you owe that. Greetings, my kindreds. Welcome back to another vlog. We're about to go have brunch. I'm here with my two favorite people from New York. What's up, what's up? It's Lick Choke Up, those damn more. If you don't know me, then uh, we're gonna get outside. All right now. Tori. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, here's shit, man, regular. Tori. <laughs> We're about to go to Spice House in Buckhead. Well, kind of sort of right. Down the house. Come on, stop. What? Today we vlog. What's the name of your vlog? The name of my vlog? Yeah. I gotta figure out what else is going in the vlog. Mm -hmm. We outside. We outside. We outside. So today we are going to Spice House. That's where we're going. You took over the vlog? Yeah, I took over the vlog. The vlog. Okay, the vlog. What he said, vlog? I said vlog. Oh Could my be. god. Could be. It's all the same shit to me. It's not the same thing. Listen, we had a long night. Very last long night. night. And they had us in a trap. We went to. We was in the dirtiest strip club yeah, hold in that. Atlanta. Hold the vlog. Hold the vlog. I can't hold that while I'm dropping. Yeah. Hold, hold the vlog. <laughs> Let me put my seat in. Definitely going back. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, yeah. <laughs> no, for you, real. That, hey, listen, man, that, that's, that, that's a strip club. That's a strip club? That's a strip. I don't like them bougie shits. What was the name of it again? I was trying to go to the bougie shit. What was the name of it? In the bush, like, I didn't want to stop in the bush. Oh, he said, What'd I you said say? She left. got a little nest. I said, Go left, it's the nest for me. Here, yeah, push forward. Let me get you up out of here. <laughs> she got Let's a little nest. Now, now it's time to get a little high. It is. You definitely could have parked over there. No, nah, I don't want you to be said some shit like this for the building. Mm -hmm. This is a big, nice parking spot. What are you talking about? I don't know. It's hot out here. <laughs> hot as hell. <laughs> the hell? Nobody told you to wear a hoodie. This is Atlanta. Nobody told you to wear that little, that little Chucky jacket. <laughs> Come on now, not the Chucky jacket. I showed you with that. Right. That little baby jacket. Go Spice House. Never try a Spice House. Hey, what's this I'll today? tell you this though. This shit nasty. I'm going to Waffle House where they got the dirty hands. You can be dirty as hell, go right in the Waffle House, get right in. Yeah. That's where I need to be. Yeah, I want to see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back. Try to pay my dues, but niggas rather say you owe that. Every step I stand up with Lil Julio gon' blow that When it's time for war, I'm never asking where my bro at Testimony too close to the grave, Kodak Yeah, I love you then I got you to the end, then you snow that I wanna see all my people win and they know that I love you then I got you to the end I don't try to hurt the ones I love cause my heart real Far from still starving in the shadows but it's dark still We was down bad, we flipped them drugs like a car wheel Can't remember dead that voice but her and my heart still Sickle mode, I'ma drop these hitters to the charts ill Take us out them trenches but it's tied with a paw still Turn down our memories, the kids won't know the pot real Distant memory I wanna see all my people win and we know that I love you then I got you to the end and you snow that Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back Try to pay my dues, but niggas rather say you owe that Every step I stand up, I know who the young gon' blow that Really sound for war, I'm never asking where my bro you. at Testimony too close to the grave, call that Oh shit! Yeah, I love you then I got you to the end and you slow that That's it, 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 that's it Can't remember that I voice for her and my heart still 
sickle mode. I'ma drop these hitters to the child's ill. Take us out them trenches, but it's tied with a pot still. Turn down our memories, the kids won't know the pot real. Distant memories. Okay, this is a brand new day and I'm like so annoyed and so fed up with people. Um, I just don't understand how people can just be so fucking nasty. Like, cause I just, it blows my mind because I don't treat people, I treat people how I wanna be treated. So like, it just blows my mind when people are like, do me dirty. So, so it's now the third. I pay, I tend to pay rent on the first, right? And then um, I didn't realize, I didn't know that my um, payment got declined or whatever. So the next day I get a note on my door saying that rent is late, which is on the second. And I'm like, what? So I look at my account and it says the payment was declined. And I'm like, why the fuck is the transaction declined? I have the money in there. I'm so confused. I think I'm making too much salad. But anyways, so I called the leasing office and I was like, because I tried to make a payment again and it said decline. So I, I hit up the leasing office and I was like, hey, you know, I keep trying to make a payment on a portal. Is there something wrong with the portal? And they're like, no, it doesn't seem like it's something wrong with the portal. Like we don't have anything on our end saying that there's something wrong with the portal. Go to the bank and get a cashier's check. I'm like, okay. But I'm, I'm annoyed because I'm like, okay, well, you guys charged me a $100 late fee. I, would you be able, I'm requesting if you could like remove that $100 late fee because I'll go to the bank and get a cashier's check. And they're like, Oh, you can't do that because it's your responsibility. Da, da, da. And I'm like, God damn, like it's the fucking second, you fucking bitches. But anyway, so um I was like, if that's the motherfucking case, I'm gonna go to the bank tomorrow. Y'all kill my motherfucking ass. So tomorrow is today, which is the third. I go to the bank. I had to Uber, which is not Uber, I had to Lyft, which was so fucking annoying because I ended up spending like sixty dollars in Lyft. Okay, sixty dollars in Lyft, which was like also very annoying. But anyways, so I got my cashier's check. I came back home. Literally two minutes after me getting out of the lift, I realized that I left my fucking camera in the lift. So I'm like, fuck. So I contact Lyft and I was like, hey, lost some camera. Da, 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 da. I was able to get in contact with the driver all within like a five minute time span. And the driver tells me like, hey, yes, I got your camera. Um, I'm headed to Marietta. I could bring it back, but I'll let you know when I'm done with this next ride or whatever. So I'm like, okay. But he's like, take my personal number down. I'm like, okay, got the personal number. And he was like, send me your address so I can bring it back. All right, bet, I sent him the address. So I'm still in communication with Lyft though because I don't know this motherfucker from a can of paint. So I don't know how serious he is because he's talking about something, take my personal number down. Like, what if I don't need your personal number, just bring my shit back. Because Lyft charges a $15 return fee or whatever already. All right, so I'm still like on the app or whatever. I messaged him via the app and I was like, hey, what will be your ETA, da da da, I just wanna know, blah, blah. Wasn't getting no messages back. So I'm like, okay, let me call him. I called him and I was like, hey, you know, I, I was messaging you, but I know you're you're driving, so you probably didn't get it. I just wanted to know, like, what will be your estimate, whatever time. Cause it's been about like 15 minutes now, so I just wanna know, like, what's like, going on? Cause I need to record content, I got money to make. So, he, so he's like, he's like, um, yeah, I just dropped my uh, my last, I just dropped the last rider off or whatever. And he was like, but I charge a $50 inconvenience fee. And I said, what do you mean an inconvenience fee? Yeah, I charge a $50 inconvenience fee to bring you your camera back. And I was like, well, Lyft only charges a $15 fee to return lost items. And he was like, I don't give a damn about Lyft. I charge a $50 inconvenience fee. First of all, who the fuck you talking to? But I didn't want to argue with a man. Cause ultimately I want my motherfucking camera back. So I was like, um, okay, well I'm confused. He's like, well I don't know what you're confused about. If you want your camera back, I charge a $50 inconvenience fee. Do you want me to send you my cash app or not? I said, sure, you can definitely send me your cash app. You know, I didn't doubt my motherfucking camera back. So <clears throat> he ends up sending me his cash app and I sent him $10 and I was like, deposit. And I texted him and I was like, I sent you a $10 deposit, I'll give you the rest when you get here. So he told me, oh, I'm 27 minutes away. Then he texted me when he was 10 minutes away. Then he texted me, oh, then he called me when he was nine minutes away and was like, yeah, uh, I'm nine minutes away, but I need the rest of that money before you touch your hand on this, before you put your hands on this camera. I'm 
pissed off. So mind you, mind you, when I had caught him, I was recording him because I knew he was going to be on some bullshit. When I called him the first time and he told me he didn't give a damn about Lyft and that I needed to give him $50 to get my camera back, I recorded his motherfucking ass. So, and I screenshotted our text thread or whatever. So, when he came, I just handed him a folded up $20 bill and snatched my motherfucking camera and went back to my, my, went along my motherfucking business. So I contacted Lyft and I just was telling them the whole entire like situation or whatever that happened. And they were like, oh, we're so sorry. We are a cash free, da 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 da. We're so sorry that you experienced this. This is unacceptable, da 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 da. Okay, cool, but where's my money? I still want my money. Y'all charged me $15. He took $30 from me, even though I told Lyft that he took the whole 50 because I got him on camera saying that he wanted $50. And I got it in text message that he said he wanted his 50 bucket dollars. So, I want my motherfucking 50 motherfucking, I want my whole 50 motherfucking dollars. I don't care if I gave him, oh, actually I gave him a folded up 20 and a five. So I gave him $25 so it can look like multiple bills and not an extra 40 fucking dollars. But shit, still, I still want my motherfucking $50 for my motherfucking pain and suffering. Where's my goddamn money? So I emailed them and I was like, okay, well, I'm still out of $50. So can y'all take money out of his his account or something and just credit it to my Lyft account or something like something because that's unacceptable like that's not okay so I'm still waiting for a response from them about all that situation because I'm annoyed ultimately I got my camera back which was the ultimate goal but that shit is disgusting I was fucking dirty ass and I'm gonna post a picture on him too this is his profile this is his Lyft profile fucking dirty nasty looking fucking demon Okay, so I just got finished doing my hair. I am putting on a little bit of makeup because I do want to take some pictures and I have to finish like the ending of that video. So I'm just doing my makeup real quick and I'm just gonna catch up on some of the girlies vlogs because I haven't been watching vlogs lately. Um, and maybe if I start watching some of the girls vlogs, it'll encourage me to keep on trucking. You know what I'm saying? So right now I am watching Kyra's vlog from three days ago. It's out with friends, new makeup, um, the grand opening of the restaurant, all of this stuff. So yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup because it is getting late. It's like what? 11 o'clock on the dot. So I want to be done with everything by midnight. So let's go. Don't play with Target. Okay. Okay, so it is the next day and we are all packed up to go to Virginia. I'm doing really good with timing right now because it's only like 12.40. My flight is at 3.30. As long as I'm out the house by like 1 o'clock, we'll be good. I gotta check Nala in, which is a hassle because Delta Line be like not long. But hopefully, no, it's Thursday. People typically do fly out on a Thursday. And I'm hungry. Let me just get my shit together. And um, yeah, Virginia, here we come. <laughs>
in Virginia at my parents' house. Yeah, my mom is having a sip and paint um, party today. It's currently Saturday. So her theme is like, like, um, I don't even know really how to explain it, but basically people have to come with like their best hat and we're gonna do a sip and paint. So there's gonna be like a contest where um, somebody's gonna win, win first place of like who had the best hat and then somebody's going to win who had the best painting. And I think there's gonna be like a second place or something like that. So she has like gifts and stuff. She already set up. I'll show you guys later what that looks like. But right now I am in the kitchen, okay? I'm not necessarily cooking. We didn't wanna like cook today. We wanted to have like little bits and pieces of food that you can eat. So like we're doing like double eggs. Um, I'm currently right now making spicy tuna rolls, but with cucumber. This is my first time doing it, so I'm gonna I'm creating a rolls right now. Um, I, I I can't record on the camera and record on my phone at the same time. That's just like too much. So I'm just gonna insert the rolls clip when I'm done, so you guys can see how I make the spicy tuna rolls. I'm so excited because I'm just like I I love tapping into my creative side. Okay. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I think we're gonna have like chicken and like um, spinach artichoke dip and like stuff like that. I can't think of everything else. Meatballs, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that you can kind of like pick up with a toothpick and eat. And then we're gonna have wine, tons of wine. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm about to go ahead and just like lock in on what I got going on right now so I can knock it out the way because it's already what? 1.30 and everybody's supposed to arrive at 6. So I wanna have this done like now. Um, Cause I still have to get myself together. I don't even know what I'm wearing. I didn't bring a hat cause I totally forgot about the hat thing. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna turn the music back up cause them dogs be barking. Them dogs be barking. They got five dogs. Five dogs. Two big giant schnauzers. And then a Pomeranian Shih Tzu and a Yorkie. And then you got Nala Pooh Bear. There's a toy poodle running around here as well. So they be like working and stuff. Surprisingly, they had calmed down. But I can show y'all what I got going on so far. So this is what I got going on so far. So basically, I'm taking the cucumber and I'm skinning it, but this is like my little design. <laughs> and then I'm taking this like spoon and carving the um, cucumber out and this is where the spicy tuna is gonna be. So I have like my tuna and then all the seasoning that I'm gonna be using and then I'm also gonna mix the cucumber in with the spicy tuna. You know, mix it up so that way it's not going to waste. So yeah, that's what I got going on right now. I wanna be done by the time she gets back so I can get out of her way. My grandma don't measure while cooking. She just pour. Trained her eyes to know what ready looks like. Trained her nose to smell what's missing, and that's the kind of love I long for. The kind that don't do too much. Don't have to go by the rules or instructions, but it's right. And after so many bad batches, you just know.
really good time spending time with my family. My mom threw like the best party, so the sipping paint was like so fun and so cute. But I'm a little confused on why my painting did not win a prize. Like, this is my painting right here, okay? This painting is so cute. And you see the color palette of this painting. It was like thoughtfully thought out. <laughs> it was like thoughtfully thought out. Like, look at the contrast. Like, look at this. Look at this, this is so pretty. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but this painting is inspired by the one and only Winnie Harlow. And I even posted it on my story and she reposted it. So if Winnie reposted this painting, like come on now, this should have won like at least second place. Cause my cousin, she won first place and it was well deserved. Her painting was so cute, but my painting should have definitely won. I feel like I should have played around with texture in regards to like the hair and stuff, like creating like texture with the paint, but Overall, I think my painting is super cute. Who is this? But overall, I think my painting is like really cute. So I'm a little annoyed that I did not win a prize because my mom went all out with the prizes. But um, yeah, I had a really, 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 really good time. But on another note, I want to give you guys a little story time because I've been like really pissed off these past few days because. <sighs> so okay. So I'm gonna try to make this story kind of short. Back in 2020, um, I met this guy. This was like the second time me and my ex had like broke up. Um, I met this guy, we were obviously like attracted to each other so that's how we connected. But we never like took it there or like crossed any lines of boundaries because of, well really because of me. I mean at the end of the day he, he a man, but really because of me. One, because I wasn't sure, I was in a place where I wasn't sure how I really felt about me and my ex not being together, you know, he was always on my mind, I was always thinking about him, like, I was, like, just sprung over my, my ex, obviously, and, but another thing that really helped me, like, make the decision to, like, just remain platonic with him was because he had just got out of a relationship as well, and when I was listening to him tell me his story, I was like, oh, yeah, you guys might, it's possibly you guys might get back together, like, you know, just, like, take your time, da da da, -da. And his response to me was, so you just gonna let her have me? And I'm like, like what? Um, yeah, like, first of all, I don't operate like that. Like, I'm not about to, like, compete with somebody who was there before me. Like, I'm just not gonna do that. Like, either you're completely done with your last relationship or you're not, and he wasn't. And plus, I wasn't obviously in a space to seriously date anyway, so we just remained platonic friends. Two years passed by, you know, he hits me up, like we been communicating like, you know, on and off or off and on or whatever, just like as friends, you know, checking up on each other or whatever. And then like when I went through like my surgery and stuff like that, he had like called me um, almost every day during like the first two weeks just to make sure that I was okay, you know, stuff like that. So we remained friends. So fast forward um, to like May, June-ish, he hits me up and he's like, I wanna come to Atlanta, I wanna come see you, da 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 da. And I'm like, don't you got a girlfriend? And he's like, no, we broke up. We broke up. And I'm like, how long y'all been breaking up? And he's like, we broke up a couple days ago, but I'm like, excuse me, sir. Y'all broke up a couple days ago. I ain't playing with you. No, y'all not near me. Y'all gonna be back together next week. You not about to bring me in your bullshit. I don't got time for that. So he's like, no, for real, like, we're done. It's just, things just didn't work out, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, hmm, hmm. Can I come see you today? All right, so I waited it out. I thought, uh, uh, I waited it out, maybe like a month and a half or two. Um, I was like, okay, cool, like, all right, whatever. I'm in between dating now, so at the time I was dating somebody. But now I'm in between dating, so I'm like, okay, what's up? So he ended up getting his ticket, and him and his friend came down here, whatever. We had like a really good weekend, like, we had fun. We did a lot of shit in like the two days that he was here. <laughs> we had a good time. And you know, he was whispering little sweet nothings in my ear. And I call it sweet nothings because I knew it was bullshit at the time when I was hearing him. Like, oh, you mine, you gonna be mine, it's gonna be me and you. Uh, he even he, he even slipped up and said I love you, you know, stuff like that. And I'm just like, what? <sighs> so, but it's like a part of me knew it was BS, but then a part of me wanted to believe it because I'm like, our, like, at the end of the day, we're friends. So, like, I would hope that he wouldn't jeopardize our friendship just to be on some BS, right? All right, so, you know what I'm saying? We had a good weekend, a gentleman, you know, all that good stuff. Cool. 
He goes home. A couple days after he went home, he started acting different. Like, he oh, he busy, you know. He don't really got time, da 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 And the next thing you know, he blocks me on Instagram. I'm like, why the hell this man blocking me on Instagram? What's going on? Baby, I got most of Instagram. So I went on my other Instagram and I searched his name and I go on his story. He blocks me because he posted his ex-girlfriend on his story confessing his love for her and like telling people to like go shop with her because she has like her own boutique or whatever. Really pretty girl. And I'm like, what? So I text him and I sent him a screenshot. I was like, so this is what you blocked me for? Like you, we couldn't just could like you blocked me, but like you blocked me because you like I'm boy. <laughs> I was livid. I was livid not because he went back with his ex girlfriend. I was livid because to me the disrespect. You lied. You know what I'm saying you were sneaky. You did all of that. Just to turn around, like you did, you did all of that to me. Like anybody who knows me knows that I'm like the most understanding, nurturing, catering, forgiving, like loving, like wanting to communicate and work things out type of person. So when people cross me or do foul shit to me, it blows my mind because it's like you don't have to do that. Like why would you do that to me? Like why would you do that to me? Like me out of all people. Like come on now. Like, I'm the type of person where you can come and talk to me about anything, no matter how uncomfortable the situation is. Especially if you call me your friend. Like, come on now, if I'm your friend. So, that really like chalk shit up for me. Cause I'm, I'm like, yo bro, you got like, dude, like man, my mans, you got me all the way messed up. I just don't like it. So, long story short, you know what I'm saying? I was a little butthurt these past two days cause I felt like, I did everything right. You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I did everything right. Like, back when I met him, you know, I decided, consciously decided to keep things platonic with him. Yes, I thought he was very attractive, you know, like the vibe was there. But I, decide, I consciously decided to make things, to keep things like as like a friend level because I knew he wasn't ready and I damn sure wasn't ready. Okay, cool. I emotionally, I am now, I don't have no ties to nobody. Like, I don't have a boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm in a phase where I am dating. I'm dating people to to, 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 to figure out what it is that I like, what I don't like, you know. I'm just dating right now. But I don't want to date people who obviously are like sneaky, liars, you know what I'm saying? Still have attachments to other people. Like, I don't got time for that. I don't got time for that. So I felt like I was doing the right thing when he originally told me that he had broken with his girl. I'm like, man, gave it some time, you know what I'm saying? Obviously two months ain't like a long time. But I felt like it was a good amount it was a good of enough time. So you know what I'm saying? Okay, they're still not together. Okay, cool, let's see what's going on. Cause he was like putting the pressure on the girl. So yeah, and then for me to kind of like let my guards down and just like I don't know. And then for and then not even a week later. I get basically like smacked in the face. It only I only felt like I was being smacked in the face because he blocked me. If like I said, if he would have called me and been like, yo, nah, it's like I've been doing some thinking and ultimately, you know what I'm saying, I'm still in love with my girl, da da da. da. Like I wanna get like work things out with her. I hope you can understand. Like I do apologize if you feel da 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 da. Then that would have been different. But he didn't do that. He didn't do that. He goes to me for like a few days. Like he went home after a few days. I ain't hear from him. And I'm like, that whatever friendship we even had before, if it was a genuine friendship, which I now believe that it wasn't a genuine friendship, it's chalk because I don't like that. But ultimately, at the end of the day, lesson learned. You know what I'm saying? Lesson learned. Trust your instinct, you know. Don't date people fresh out of a relationship because chances like chances are you are just a rebound <laughs> or a tester to see if they really if they if they still love their ex or not. You know what I'm saying? 
And the last thing you want to do is be somebody's pawn or to be used or to feel like, I don't know. But it's all good though, cause I had my little two days of like, oh, like feeling some type of way. But now your girl is back in the game. <laughs> Back in the game, I just did my hair and did my makeup, and I'm about to go out on a date right now. <laughs> I'm about to go out on a date. I'm feeling cute. I'm feeling good. And um, yeah, that's that. But on another note, earlier today, I was feeling like complete crap. So I got in yesterday from being in Virginia. But before I even got on a plane, like I was having sinus issues. My nose was stuffy. Like my eyes were itching. My throat was itching. Like it was, I was just very irritated. So then when I got off the plane, what made it even worse was um, my ears were clogged. So my ears were clogged. And then actually there's this, this, it still is a little clogged. But they were really clogged like all day today, roll, I mean all day yesterday rolling into today. So like um, I'm sitting here like, like irritated like, damn this sun is in my face. <laughs> but anyways, I'm sitting here like just miserable this morning. And then all of a sudden, um, my I had a really bad migraine to the point where it just felt like somebody was doing this to my veins, right? I had a really bad migraine and the pressure it was so bad that it started affecting my vision in my right eye. Like things started to like be blurry and to kind of like go in and out, like to the point where things was getting dark and that was really that was really scary like i was about to go to the hospital like i was i got myself i got myself up i was um, trying to get myself ready you know to leave out the house but maybe like 45 minutes passed by and um i was about to call my lift and um the pain started like gradually going away let me check my phone because i but um my date's downstairs, she's coming downstairs. But yeah, the plane started like gradually going away or whatever. And I was like, okay, let me just give it some time. So I gave it some time and then like the pain went away. But if the pain comes back, I'm taking my ass straight to the hospital because that was like so scary and I don't even know, I don't know. I think I'm, I, I don't know if that's like a connection to like having like a sinus infection or something, like I don't know. But um, yeah. Earlier today, I couldn't even taste. From last night to this morning, I couldn't taste anything. But now, my taste buds are back. I can breathe a little bit better now. My ears are less clogged. My eyes aren't itching anymore. My throat is itching. So I feel like I'm getting a little better. I probably should stay my ass in the house, but I wanna go on a date, so I'm gonna go on a date. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's just that. So I'm gonna close this vlog out right here and right now. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'm gonna take y'all with me. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take y'all with me. Let's go. <laughs> Leaving me, dipping out on me already. Gave you what you needed, I guess, quickly. Learned yourself through me already. Gave you what you needed, I guess. I guess. So I'm not with nobody. Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over text, they didn't call me Still got love for you, Bobby I know you wanna be somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody Yeah Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded Say bye to the vlog. Bye vlog. <laughs> oh my fucking god, it's been a while. <laughs> See you bitches soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I wanna see all my people win, and we know that I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back 